Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 26th through to the 30th of December 2012. Two strong coronal hole formations which will be rotating through the earth facing position in the coming days represent a potential of one or two earthquakes reaching seven magnitude for this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info. This is the Solar Terrestrial Activity Report where we see two significant coronal hole formations which will be of interest during this watch. A trans-equatorial coronal hole, CH548, located at this centre, will be of interest during the initial part of this watch. And towards the end of this watch, a large coronal hole formation has developed at high latitudes in the southern hemisphere. We're now looking at this very large coronal hole formation with the SEO composite moving imagery where we see a predominantly northern hemisphere coronal hole formation 48 hours ago has developed into trans-equatorial coronal hole during that time frame and this rapid rate of growth may be the indication of one or two strong earthquakes potentially in the coming days. Now we also have a very strong active region in behind 11635 and also two active nodes ahead of this coronal hole formation or emerging flux points. Now this may be an indication of a very strong earthquake potential and it's definitely worth keeping a close note of. We're now using solar monitors 193 and 211 angstrom images where we see a slight contrast difference and a little bit more information of this large coronal hole formation. Now it does appear that the southern hemisphere coronal hole formation may be slightly stronger but I do feel that there is a strong earthquake potential 2 to 7 degrees north latitude and also 1 to 6 degrees south latitude. I'll now plot a map some regions I feel will be most at risk for these significant earthquakes. My number one area of concern for this watch is for Indonesia as there are some very strong similarities with this coronal hole formation to the region. The northern hemisphere component of this coronal hole does look to be Celebes Sea or the Malacca Sea regions and the southern hemisphere component of the coronal hole does appear to be the, either the Banda Sea region or adjacent to the eastern Papua New Guinea region. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and there's not much to report in this service. Solar wind speeds are at fairly low levels at approximately 310 kilometres a second. We should see a small bump in solar winds upon the arrival of the high speed solar wind stream coming from the coronal hole formation CH548. We're now looking at the latest WSA Enlil solar wind prediction animation. According to this service, the next 24 hours should see a rise in solar wind speeds possibly to around 500 kilometres a second. This should give a green light to strong earthquake potentials felt here on the Earth, so it should be busy seismically during the next three to four days. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere of the solar corona, where we see another coronal hole formation which may produce a significant earthquake for this watch. I feel December 29 into December 30, we may see a 6.5 magnitude earthquake, as the components of this coronal hole have also developed rapidly over the last 48 hours. After further analysis, I have isolated a region 38 to 44 degrees south latitude, which may be an indication of where this strong earthquake potential may be for the southern hemisphere. I now plot and map some regions that I feel may be at risk for this significant earthquake. South America will be my number one area of concern for this watch, specifically the regions in Chile of Bio Bio, Araucania, Los Lagos, or adjacent into Chubut, Argentina. And my second and final area of concern is for New Zealand, specifically the North Island New Zealand, Cook Strait, and the South Island New Zealand, specifically the West Coast or in Christchurch. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 25th of December 2012. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.